the Grosser Preis von Baden. The biggest race in the German racing calendar. It's a more and for Group 1 for three-year-olds and up. Some of these will test their mettle before the arc next week. Iconoclast Zeal for Steve Rann. Putty and Cruz for Vinnie Gerard. Blood Harvest for Leon Van Rensburg. Moral Disorder, 92 favourite for Leon Van Rensburg. That's Me Girl for Arc Costello. Victoire India for Hems. Voodoo Doll for Django. Phantom for Paul Rose, the Derby winner. Gun Runner for Django. Kind of Special for Paul Rose, 9-2. Task Analysis, 25 to 1. Kangas Dan RC, 33. Perfection for Paul O'Neill. And 20 Love for Alex Cherry. 14 go to post in the Group 1. Grosser Praise, Von Baden from Von Baden Racecourse. Well, Barden Barden, I believe it's called. But they are off. And it's Voodoo Doll who's going to take it up for Django. Not many of his go to front, but Voodoo Doll has decided on this occasion that he will. Phantom and Kinda Special in second and third. Iconoclast Steel in fourth as we get the view from the stands. We get the same view in the big one, the Pre de l'Arc with Triumph. I think it's next week, it might be next week, it might be week 11. I'm pretty sure it's next week, however. Um, Voodoo Doll leads them off into the German countryside. Kind of special, the 9 2 favourites, or joint favourites, settled just in behind. Phantom, the Derby winner, is in third. Victoire India is there. Task analysis on the outside. There's a few real out wide. Uh, Blood Harvest is. It's been caught wide. Uh, also, there, Kangastel Arcea and the Maroon has also been caught out wide with Gun Runner. But Voodoo Doll is in front. They're approaching the 7 furlong marker. Voodoo Doll from Kinda Special. Victoire India on the rail. Task analysis in the dark green and white hat. Blood Harvest is now across and in fifth from Iconoclast Zeal. The Judge Monty Colors, Phantoms there, Moral Disorders starting to make ground. Kind of special being given a bit of breathing time there as well, but it's Voodoo Dolt going into the five furlong mark and it's now being pressed along. Iconoclast Zeal has made a sweeping move for Steve Brown to try and get closer. Blood Harvest is also there, so is Moral Disorder. Victoire India on the rail. Task Analysis trying to sweep around. Kinda Special and Phantom looking for routes through. Kinda Special has been blocked off big time. Phantom couldn't make it through either as Voodoo Doll takes them down into the final three furlongs. Coming around the outside, Kangas down Arcea. There's Voodoo Doll into the final three furlongs of the Grosser Brave from Barden Group 1 and Voodoo Doll from Iconoclast Seal for Steve Rand. Gunrunner has made some headway into third. Moral Disorder in fourth and fifth is Blood Harvest. Task Analysis now into the fourth, but it's the actions at the front and it's Voodoo Doll in front by about a length from Iconoclast Seal. Gunrunner is also there in third. Task Analysis in fourth on the rail. Not Victoria India, but this one could be over. It's between the front two. It's Voodoo Doll from Iconoclast Seal. Voodoo Doll's in front and I think Voodoo Doll's going to hang on the deep inside the final. Voodoo Doll, Iconoclast Seal, Iconoclast Seal gets up. On a class zero, it's a big win for Steve Ran. There's some good horses in there. You've got a Derby winner in there. You've got some multiple time Group One winner. Winners in there, but this one goes to Iconoclast Zeal at 16 to one. It's a big one for Steve Ran. Another Group One, and confidence will be high. And will this horse go to the Arc next week? That is the question. But it's Iconoclast Zeal for Steve Ran. Your winner at 16 to one. Fudu Doll for Django, it's a second and third for Django, Gunrunner also came third, Phantom was fourth for Paul Rose and Blood Harvest and Moral Disorder were fifth and sixth for Leon van Rensburg.